Welcome back to the Seaboard Central, everyone, in a special October 13th, 2024 layout update. In this update, we're going to go over what I've been working on this past week. And first up, the Yardmaster has us going over to track nine to dig out a load of brand new cross ties for the track supervisor to switch the team track out. So we'll fire up our yard set and we'll head on over to track nine. car we need is actually in the middle of the track so we'll couple up to the track pull it down make a cut set it over and then shove the track back In this video, I'm also going to go over how I'm upgrading these Walther's carbon black cars with some Tangent Code 88 wheels and some KD couplers. We'll go over that later on in the video. But first up, we need this gun right behind them. That'll work. We just set this car out on the lead and shove this other stuff back in now. All right, let's stretch this track out. We got everything, we're gonna shove everything back in the clear and we know we are clear because we removed one car from the track. Anywhere in here it is good. It is so fun to run a good pair of running engines. Ones that run real well together, just like these two Athern Genesis models. One thing that makes them run so well is they're equipped with lope sound decoders. And they have superior motor control especially when you have them programmed correctly.
And the first thing we're going to do is come in with a load of brand new cross ties and couple up to two loads of relay ties. Now when ties are removed in a renewal project, they'll grade them. The highest grade cross ties can be referred to as relay ties. Now what relay ties are used for, they can be able to reuse them in say a yard track or an industrial lead. They're not good enough for mainline trackage, but they can get some extra use in yards. I'm just setting these two cars out on the NS Interchange lead track. And then we'll go back in and spot that load and we'll talk about this scene that I've been working on. You could actually refer to this track as an internal customer. It's a class code for it on my layout is A20 for the SC track supervisor in Gadsden. And this will work. So I got the camera off the tripod so I could show you some close-up shots and how I have this scene detailed. Right here next to the track you'll see some piles of ballast where they can load out into their dump trucks. Next up you'll see some stacked rail and my plans are to make a material handling truck to unload the cars, store the material Alongside the tracks, here's a pile of new cross ties. I need to make a pile of used cross ties to go along with it. Behind the gun is a maintenance away box car. It actually, I use it for cleaning the dust off the track. It has some little dust wipers that you can get from Woodland Scenics. Next to it is an old Seaboard system, 45 foot trailer that's used just as a storage building. And I've added some graffiti decals to it and weathered it up. You can see how it's, the wheels have been removed from it and it's just sitting on the ground and there's some stacked cross ties used to as steps. It's actually on stacked cross ties, just like they do in the real world. I've added a little bit more scenery. You can see the uh, little weeds, flowers. Also, I've strung up the utility poles and they are working. And I also have a new rail, new rail models Blue Point switch machine controlling this switch. So let's talk about that next. So here on the side of the layout, I have a controller that turns the lights on. This is the auxiliary switch that Woodland Scenic offers. And I just mounted it to the side of the fascia. And also here's the new rail models switch controller, push pull. And I'll show you how that looks under the layout. This is something you don't often see, the underside of people's layouts. And uh, here's mine, it's not the tidiest, but it does the job. The wires from the uh, lights, they come down and they come together and you can put them in this. Just make sure you match the white with the black. And then it runs to this little box right here. 
Now, the way I have it, I have the auxiliary switch coming from here. You remove this uh, little control if you want to use an auxiliary switch, and next to it is power. And right here, I have a little shelf built. And uh, since I don't have it hooked up to um, an um, actual electrical outlet, I'm using two 9-volt batteries. But these lights aren't used that much, so that should last me for a while. Now, right here is the Blue Point switch machine and how it goes through. And once you make the first one, the other ones are okay. Takes a little bit of time, but you can get them. Just be patient, and they do a great job. If you want to see more on how a Blue Point switch machine works and how to install it, I do have a video on the channel for a Blue Point switch machine installation that you can check out. Now, next week, hopefully, this area will be covered and these lights will be necessary to light this scene up. So, that'll be pretty cool. Be sure to tune back in for that one. These two loads of relay ties are headed off to Carrollton to the track supervisor there. So we'll add them to the Carrollton block. Next up, I'm going to talk about how to upgrade some scale trains cars. Pretty simple upgrade anybody can do if you want to make your cars more realistic. All right, I got these two cars side by side because I want to show you the difference. These cars are equipped with Code 88 wheels, so you'll notice that there are they are narrower than these. These have the Code 110 wheels, and those are the Scale Trains couplers, and that's the KD-158. So I want to upgrade this car with something just like this. First, let's talk about the couplers that I use. I use the 119s, which are double shelf couplers for all my tank cars. And there's some covered hoppers that actually have the double shelf couplers. Um, some You'll often see it on plastic pellet cars. I just have to check the prototype and see if the prototype is equipped with them or not. A lot of newer cars are equipped with a lower shelf coupler, which is their new 120. It doesn't have the upper shelf, it does have a lower shelf. And then you have a 156, which is a, a medium shank coupler, it's a little bit longer. And I use this on 60 foot box cars like T boxes and 73 foot center beams, because in real life, those uh, draw heads, which is this part right here, are longer than a normal coupler. And last, majority of the cars are equipped with 158s. This is just your standard coupler that took the place of um, the 58s. These have the uh, little whiskers. These took the place of the 58s. Speaking of whiskers, often on this particular car, I'll cut the whiskers off actually, because on the prototype, the conductor can slide this coupler over to help it line up, make a, a coupling in curves. So you may have seen this in my earlier videos on weathering. I made this little jig and it helps me to hold the couplers and also the trucks. I can put them on the top of those skewers. But I've got little clothes and pins that I cut the ends of the clothes pins off and just use some wood glue to secure it to this block of wood. And you can see here, I've got a row of couplers that need to be painted. So my go-to for painting couplers is this Dark Earth AS-22, and it is made by Tamaya. So we'll show you what I do here. Let's just lightly spray these, cu these couplers. Try to get the underside too. Very simple. All right, the next thing I do is I take some rail nippers and I cut this trip pin off. Wear eye shields, safety glasses before you do that because they go flying. I'm going to trim up any little excess just like that. All right, now I've got the truck removed and to take them, the wheels out, you just pop them out. They pop out real easy. And what I want to do is I want to save these roller bearings. 
So I just pull the roller bearings off and I'm gonna attach them to the new wheel. Now in these carbon black cars, I've got these Code 88 semi-scale couplers for tangent rotating cap trucks. That I need to make sure I get this particular one. And in this case, I've got the 33 inch wheels. They make the 36 inch wheels are for 100 ton cars. The 33 inch are for 70 ton cars. These carbon black cars are lighter weight and they have the 33 inch wheels. Now that I've got the roller bearing caps on the new wheels, I'll just simply pop these in place. They just snap in. Just like that. All right, before I install the trucks back on the models, I'm gonna weather the wheels with this Monroe Models Dark Earth Weather and Wash. I'll show you how to do it. So what I've done is I've shut the bottle up and in the cap, I've got this paint this weathering wash and what I do here is I just take this brush and I put it inside that wheel face and with my other finger I'll just twist the wheel like this and you can see it has painted the inside of that wheel and I can show you again on this one just take the brush put it inside the wheel twist it around and it's painted the wheel. Now when I want to do the outside wheel and also that axle, I'll take it and I'll just move the wheel along as I hold the brush against the wheel. Let me do it where you can see it. Just like that, I'll just move it and it paints the inside of that wheel just like that. Also, I can do the axle the same way. Just move the axle along it paints that axle. All right, before I reattach the wheel, I'll often add a Katie washer here to raise it up if I need to, to make sure that coupler height is right. So in this case, I added one. All right, before I put the car back on the track, the last thing I wanna do is clean those wheels and I use my Dremel tool. And you can see right here, I have a little sand an attachment and I'll hold the truck with one hand this does an excellent job cleaning the wheel just make sure you don't break anything off the car I don't just, the only thing you want to get is that tread of the wheel. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Seaboard Central. Be sure to tune in next week and we'll see the next update. So until then, I'm Tim Garland. Thanks for watching the Seaboard Central. And happy model railroading, everyone.